Hey guys, it is BrickLover18 here today, and in this video, I'm going to be making a BrickLink store vlog. I haven't really done a lot with my BrickLink store since the LEGO Room renovations were completed, so I'm excited to be back here today and getting some things done. So I've got these three different kinds of sets here that need to be parted out. We've got some Hidden Side, some Minions, as well as some of the Overwatch. I've also got a few of these sets over here, which I purchased in advance of Black Friday, which is some DC and some Marvel sets. But essentially, I'm going to start out with these ones. So I'm going to look it up from these three sets here, which one would be the best one to start by party now, looking at the price of figs and everything like that. And then once I get started, I'm just going to go for it. All right, so here are the sets here. Time to do a little bit of math to figure things out. So I've got all the price guides up here. So for the Jack's Beach Buggy, which is this hidden size set, the current part of value of it is 27 USD. And the average price that the set is being sold is only $15, only three have sold. So this one is definitely still going to be parted out. The reason I'm doing this right now is because I did buy these sets a little while ago, so I just want to make sure it's still worth it. So I'll definitely be parting that one out. That's a pretty good value. Uh, the Unstoppable Bike Jake, which is a part out of the Minion set, and it's $25.94. And the last six months average of sales is $17.27. Again, only 13 sold, or uh, 13 times sold, but 16 quantity. So this one is also worth parting out here. This one's where it gets a little interesting. So this is set number 75973, whatever that set name is. The part out value on this this one is $97.57 USD, which is a pretty good value for only 455 parts. However, the average monthly sale is $93.50. Again, 26 copies sold. Um, but still, I actually, I, I must have misread this. I thought this was over $100. I must have looked at something else. Uh, so that's still good. So never mind. There is no math needed there because it's such a better value to part this one out. Most of the time, it is way better of value to part sets out than it is just to try and sell them whole. Uh, however, sometimes older sets, especially when they've been sitting in your backlog for a while, it does become about roughly either the same price or a little bit less expensive to actually sell it as a whole. You'll get more money if you sell it as a whole. Uh, but that is not the case here. So I'm going to be parting them out and what the heck i'll start out by parting out the minion set i'm also packing a few bricklink orders and i just wanted to quickly stop and show that i sold a bunch of lego star wars minifigures and i'm super happy with the way that i pack them so there was eight figures here they're pretty expensive like decently priced so i used a lego set bag and i individually packaged them all which looks really really awesome i'm happy with how this looks it's going to ensure that they're safe in transit and you know when they go in the bubble mailer it will arrive nice and safe. And I think the buyer will be pretty impressed with the packing here because I love reusing things. And I love, I think heat sealed bags are just awesome. All right, guys. And just like that, three Bricklink orders are packed and ready to be taken to the post office. I am out of stamps, so I will have to go buy some more and actually take these manually and not just drop them in the box downstairs. All right, so I'm going to start out by parting out seven of the LEGO Minion set, which is set number 75549. I did review this set not too long ago here on my YouTube channel. It's like way over here in the corner here if I really zoom in. Um, so I've already built this one once, but yeah, parting it out is going to be fun. It'll add just a little bit less than a thousand pieces, I think, to my store. All right, sweet. In less than half an hour, I parted out seven of the Minion set, all sorted by color here. And now I'll just go into the BrickLink room and actually get these parts listed in the store sweet all right so i've got the minion set parted out i put all the parts away already and then the ones i still have to sort are just kind of scattered all throughout here and here here are all the mini figures grooves in one bag stewards and bobs i obviously separate them so it's easier and i'll take them over here and put them in this bin with all the other lego mini figures that i currently have for sale in my brickling store it's not a lot so i do want to get some more in there cmfs there and then poly bags here Look at what it is. It is a total of 980 parts. Like I said, just under 1,000. 76 unique lots. Um, not very many parts that I already had, so a lot of new ones, which is good. And the part out value is 181.65. Very, very exciting. So I'm going to upload that to my store. It looks awesome. Let's go to the store now and see what it's looking like. I now have 32,000 parts, 32,426, so a very, very small store, uh, with 2,060 lots available. So very, very excited. Everything's also on 10% off right now, so go check it out. All right, guys, now I'm here in the main room, and I'm putting away the inventory that was new to the store that I just hadn't got a chance to add yet, like add remarks to. So all these parts are in the store. They're already for sale, but I've got to put them in bags. So some of them are going to be put in these small bags here, the small number, and then others are going to be put into... Oh, there's, I've already gone through a lot of the large bags, so there might not be any more left in here. I hope there is one or two. Maybe... Uh, nope, 
There we go. Anyway, there are some large bags probably in there as well. I do have to find them because essentially what I'm doing is going through all the different parts, putting them in there, logging it in the Brickling inventory, and then either putting the large bags in there or the small bags in there. So I'm going to have to go through and make sure that there are a few more large bags. And if they're not, I'm going to have to write some more. So, yep, I am totally out of large bags. This is all just small bags left in here because while well, as the store grows, the inventory grows and these bags don't hold as much parts anymore when I have more versus quantity instead of just like, you know, quantity per part or not like total lots. Um, so anyway, I'm going to make some more large bags. I left off here, it looks like, at uh, 516 as of April 5th, 2022. So what I'm going to do now is start making bags. So I just choose a random assortment of two, these two different sizes because... I don't entirely know which ones I'm going to need. And as I do that, I'm just going to kind of fill them up and do a whole bunch of them. I'll probably get to like 550 or something like that today, just so I have them made for the future as well. So I got all of the inventory finished. My laptop's on the floor there. I've emptied the bin of all the large parts. I've actually put all the small lots away already, which is really exciting. And now I've just gone through and sorted this by 100. So like zero to 100 100 200 300 and so on so very excited to finally have this this has been i haven't done this in months actually i am super behind so it's really good that i'm getting it done tonight um so i'm just gonna go take a pile one by one here into the lego room in that bin um and go into the bricklink room and i'm gonna start putting these away back into the orders where they go so obviously you guys know i've got like one through 100 here 200 300 all there you know goes all the way down there so i just got to sort them all there and then once i've done that i'll be excited because that means my entire inventory is where it belongs and it'll make packing orders a lot easier all right now i'm going to do some more parting out and i'm going to do this infinity saga set from the marvel studios line i've got six copies here it is the whatever end game battle 322 pieces in each set so i'm going to add a pretty decent amount of parts to my brickling store sweet so the part out is complete took me probably just around less than an hour to do I'll be adding 1938 parts to my store with a total value of $422 USD, which is awesome because I actually paid 150 Canadian, which is probably like 110, $120 American. So very, very good part of value on these sets and excited to get these into the Bricklink store and getting these parts put away. Parting out the sets has been going very, very well. I am on the gray now. I've emptied most of the other cups and I've got them already in the Bricklink store already listed. You can already go buy these parts. I did run out of bags, which is really funny. I have not run out of bags in years since I like reopened my Brickling store, probably in like 2019, 2020. Um, so pretty crazy that I ran out. So I'll have to head to the dollar store and pick them up. I got these in 2019 uh, at $1.25. Let's see how much more expensive they are now here in 2022. Guys, I got the bag from the dollar store. The verdict is in. Three years later, the bags are still $1.25. However, now you just get 55 instead of 60 so interesting pretty much like literally the exact same just five less bags for the same price not as bad i could have sworn they were going to be like two bucks so happy with that if only lego up their prices just you know the same price and just took out five pieces i'd love to lose like five studs or something like that and keep the price the same but no they're gonna jack their prices up way more so i've been putting a lot of the parts away into the brickling store but i've got a few orders now that need to be shipped out so i'm gonna pause putting the parts away and pack those up all right, so I finished packing two of the orders. Well, kind of one and a half because there was an issue with one of them that I'm not going to get into now. I'm trying to work it out with the buyer. But I've also then put away, now that I got that kind of sorted out, I put away a lot of the gray parts. And these are the ones that just didn't fit in the existing bags. So now I'm here with the inventory and I'm going to put them in new bags right here. All right, guys, look at that. All of the inventory is now bagged and tagged, all the new ones here. So I can go submit changes and everything is accurately updated here in my inventory. So I told you guys I had a little bit of an order problem and exactly what happened was a buyer placed an order for say like 300 one by one uh, tile studs basically. Little, you know, the little circle tiles. They placed an order for 300 of them. As I was packing it, I'm like, hmm, the quantity seems off. So when I actually counted them out, there was like 172, which is clearly far away from the 300. So I had no idea what happened because it said I had 300 and some, they only ordered 300, but it said I had like 350 in my inventory. I went through my inventory and was looking for them. I couldn't find it in any other bag in any other lot they weren't in any of my loose bricks or anything like that like they're you know the other half of these parts just vanished then i went through my email and was like did i ever sell this part before maybe i sold the part and like canceled the order or like just like i had no idea maybe it didn't ship maybe i over sent them the amount that they ordered or something like that i had never sold the part before it was just 
absolutely bonkers. I have no idea what happened to the part. Um, I looked everywhere for it. I even looked in my personal inventory to see if I had enough of the part to compensate for the extras that they order. I unfortunately did not. So I sent the seller an email and was like, hey, I'm really, really sorry, but I cannot find, you know, 130 of the part you ordered. I have no idea where it went or anything like that. The buyer honestly was like super chill about it. They were like, no worries. I gave them the option to either just reduce the cost of the order um, and ship them, you know, the 170 and then they get a little bit of a discount or just cancel it all together. They opted to cancel it all together, which was unfortunate because I still would have really loved to sell them the 170 I had, even though I didn't have the 300. But obviously that's not a fault of them. That's totally a fault of me. My inventory was wrong. This is like the first time that that's ever happened to me. So it is very, very rare. Luckily they were super understanding, no negative feedback. They appreciated me contacting them in a timely manner. I refunded their payment because they paid before I actually like packed the order and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's very rare that these things happen, but, but obviously when they do, I just want to make it right with the buyer. And I'm really lucky that in this case, they were very understanding about it. Other than that little order faux pas though, for the most part, everything in the Brickling store is going very, very well. You guys can see I've got a bunch of other sets that I still need to part out into the store. I'll be doing that in another vlog just because this one is getting long enough. Um, but I definitely, I have to sort this room and go through it because it is a mess right now. And if there is any more inventory errors, I want to spot those before I, you know, get an order placed in my store and somebody else unfortunately finds them for me. So lots of things to part out. I got to get doing that in the next vlog. And of course, I will bring you guys here along with me. Any Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Stay tuned because I've got lots of cool things coming very soon, and I'll always take you along the process for my Brickwing store. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.